How does Darwin evolution uh, negate the existence of God? Have you ever questioned yourself about that? Or are you just going by what the scientists are telling you? Yeah. What's your take? So just, educate us on your understanding. Can I just say that we evolved? It's very simple. Mm. We, just, we are just here by chance. And we will disappear very soon as well, within the next thousand years. What does evolution mean? It means a gradual changing of, of things to adapt to the different circumstances, the different so, climates, okay. things like that. So what you just described to me is not Darwinian evolution. What you explained to me is adaptation. I've got no problem with that. Well, it is that, yeah. Uh, but, but evolution has to come from its origin. Why don't you question the origin? What do you mean the origin? Well, the evolution means a gradual change, so why don't you question the beginning? It is a gradual change. Not but like you have to fast, fast to you. But what about the first cell? Yeah. Where did that come from? Yeah, first cell. Well, it came, it came when the right elements came together in the right conditions, but, and life started yeah. spontaneously. But, so, but, science, yeah. sorry, but science always, always look for explanation. Okay, because because science is the is the study of the natural world. Okay, and scientists know that everything you can see there's a beginning of everything. Yeah, so well, that's what. What, what, what do you mean? Well, you unless you believe the universe is eternal, it always existed. Oh no, I don't think it did. Okay, brilliant. So and my it question is, it as, a, as, a, as a, just a load of energy. Good. So so, so my that you good. So so what I want you to question. Yeah. Yeah, thirteen point eight million billion. Yeah, thirteen point eight billion. This so, is what the scientific. Yeah. So what I'm sorry. saying is that why don't you question the origin of the universe rather jump into evolution? Well, in order for in order for before before, yeah. before, yeah. before the, the universe was here, yeah. there was just a load of energy. And where did just that energy, energy come from? Ah, that's where I don't know. Okay, so the question is that it's look. It's a mass of energy, no one knows, because yeah. you can't make energy. You okay. can't create energy, you, you just convert. No, but from in, one in thing a closed lid circle. Wait, wait, one sec, one second. I, I don't want to go into the scientific tangent because um, we Muslims don't have an issue with science, by the way. Yeah. So I don't know how science uh, negates the existence of God. So I, I, I want us to focus on the existence of God, yeah? Do you profess yourself as an atheist? Yeah. Okay. In order for you to profess yourself as an atheist, you must have went by def a, a particular definition of God that made you reject the existence of God. So what definition of God did you go by that made you reject that there is no God? I mean, have you ever thought about if, if I say, for example, this, this phone, if I, if I say this phone does not exist, yeah? In order for me to say this phone does not exist, I have to understand what, what's the characteristic, what's the attribute of this phone that I'm rejecting, right? So I want you to tell me what is the definition of God that you went by that made you feel like, nah, it doesn't exist, that God doesn't exist. What definition did you go by? Hmm? I don't think you have thought about it, right? I don't think you've thought about it. So, yeah. so, so that's the reason why, look, if I explain to you what we believe is yeah. Allah, because I, I, I completely reject using the term God. Well, whoever you, whatever you call him. Okay, no, no, not whatever you call him, because different religions have different belief about God. Oh, no. Okay, so do you know the definition of Allah in Islam? Do you know who we believe is our creator, Allah? No, no. Okay, so we believe, Muslims basically mean someone who's, sub, uh, a Muslim is a person who submits their will to Allah alone, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. Good, good. So a person who submit is called as a Muslim, and the well, I the, worked yeah. in the Gulf. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So, so, so the question is that look, the fundamental message of Islam is that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Oh. Who is Allah? Allah is one and only, who has no partners. He's alone. Yeah, does not need any help. Allah is self self sufficient, meaning he's not in need of food, he's not in need of drinking, he's not in need of anything. He's independent. Yeah. All the creation depends upon him, but he doesn't depend upon the creation, okay? He begets not, nor is he begotten, meaning that Allah does not have children, he does not father children, and he's not born as well, yeah? So he's eternal, no beginning, no end, and Allah is nothing like his creation. So that is the definition of Allah that we believe in. And by the way, I reject Trinity, I reject Hindu, a Hindu conception of God, because I don't believe in multiplicity of gods. And the Christians as well. We don't be, we don't accept their conception of God. Do you know why we do that? Because yes. Brother uh, Rehan, you could do you want to explain why the creation cannot be God? Yeah. I mean, that, that would be so, an so the reason so the, the, here's the thing that we, we as Muslims we believe that it is only Allah who is worthy of worship. Well I don't be believe that. Okay, but based upon that definition, why do you reject it? 
What's the problem? Because I don't think there's anything there. Okay. Just if we, we just we're here by chance, right? Okay. And we uh, will disappear, yeah. just like the dinosaurs and just like the, all the other. Why things. do you believe that di that we came by chance? As I said, life life just started spontaneously because this is the right. But what does chance mean? Probability. 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 So who set the, who set the outcomes? If I say, for well, example, there is nobody did. But that's why we're here just by chance. The reason why you say by chance, the chance yeah. of the chance of life starting spontaneously are several billion to one. Mm. But if you look out there, there are several billion planets, and Earths, and all that. I would argue mm. that chance does not exist because the reason why you call it as a chance is because you have lack of knowledge of the outcome. That's the reason why, if you know all of the, all of the, if you know, if you're able to know the measurement, like for example, if we s smash a glass, will it ever become a frog? Yeah, will it ever become a frog? No, why the not? Molecules are all wrong. Exactly, but that's not randomness, is it? You know it's going to happen, and you're you're going to be able. We think this is a chaos, but actually, uh, scientists can actually measure the pressure, the the the, the glass pieces, etc. So. When you say life came by chance, is your lack of knowledge, okay? So what I want you to question yourself is that, look, we believe in Allah who is unlike his creation. He's perfect, okay? Anything that you see is not God. It's not Allah, okay? Now that agrees with your natural intuition. It agrees with your natural inclination because nobody's born to believe that God is a man. Nobody born to believe that God is a blue skin God like Hinduism. Everyone is born that there is something up there, but you know, he is, he's all powerful, he's all knowing, he's unlike really? his creation. So, you're so not. Why, is that why the earth's overheating? <laughs> well, Allah has balanced everything, right? So, that, so that's the reason why I never viewed you as an atheist. I never viewed you as an. Wait, sorry. I never viewed you as an atheist in the first place. Do you know why? Why? Atheism does not exist in Islam. I think, brother, I have. I'm, 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 I'm going to ask you a question, both of, okay. both of you guys. So, that, you know, when you said, and I, I want to take on that part. You know when you said, brother, that I don't know when in the beginning, right? When we well, go no back to a step, right? No now, one. now that goes when someone does not know when what is happening at the back of the time, yeah? Time, if you time travel back to the time, well, there that, was no right. time when you said. No, I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. So that, so in one point, you agree that universe comes into existence. So. Our idea is either you can only apply three conditions, and I'm going to ask Brother Rehan to go do a falsification so that we can come to a conclusion that yeah. where did it come by itself? So if you can. Yeah, this is, this is where I, yeah, I want exactly. you to go. Yeah. So look, do you believe that you have a beginning? No. You don't believe you have a beginning? But the universe is a beginning. Oh, you were. I know when I was born. All right. Um, did you, were you born 200 years ago? No. So you have a beginning? You didn't exist 200 years ago. Oh, no, so. my parents. Uh, you know. I know, but you have a beginning. You were born. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that's right. So the question well, is... We've evolved that good. stage. So anything, okay, good, good. So that means... I want to ask you three questions. Were you created by nothing? Huh? Were you created by nothing? Okay, at least by something. Elements. Okay, good, good, good. At yeah. least by something. Well, you must have something because you know you're Good. brilliant, you are brilliant. So you're no longer you're an atheist. Yeah, no. You're no longer an atheist because you believe in something. So, <laughs> did you create yourself? No. You'll be a Muslim. So okay, wh no. why no, didn't? No, why, no. why? Sorry, sorry. Why didn't you create yourself? Because <laughs> well, I can't create myself. Why? Why not? My parents did. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. You're, okay, so let. So you you admitted that you did not create yourself. That's absurd because you. In order for you to create yourself, you have to first exist. But you know that you have a beginning, okay? So it's a contradiction. Now, did you create the heavens and the earth? No. Good. So what's the logical conclusion that leads to it? Exactly. This is what I want. If you didn't come by nothing, if you didn't create yourself, if we didn't create this magnificent universe, then where did it come from? And who created it? It was, it was a change from energy into matter. But where did that energy come from? Uh, that's what I don't know. Good. So that's why you have to question yourself that, look, everyone is born naturally to believe that anything that is created requires a creator. If I see this phone, automatically you will say to you, you know, this didn't come by nothing. 
this didn't create itself. Do you, do you not find this argument is quite very strong and compelling? It is, it is coherent and it very agrees with your well, natural, uh, natural intuition. It still doesn't change your mind. I must go, my friends. Thank okay. you very much for the you talk. You know what I was okay. going to say? Uh, yeah. I was going to give you a copy of the Quran. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jesus, I mean, Jesus, but you know, at, at least one thing, yeah. at, at least one thing to take away from is that your perception of God, if you agree with me that Jesus is not God, if you agree with me that trees are not God, that anything that's, anything that's created is not God, then you've already affirmed the first part of the Shahada. La ilaha, there's no wealth of worship. In Islam, our belief, like yes. Brother Rahan, our belief, anything within the creation are not God. It's not God. So if you conceptualize anything within your mind, this is God, that's not God. Exactly. So we, we, we... I think it's on another philosophical level. I must go, my guy. It's not yeah, philosophical. No, it agrees yourself. with your intuition I and your sound give, intellect. Give me ten, five seconds, five seconds, yeah? Five seconds. Allah said, Badi'u samawat The originator, the Badi'u samawat so if you know this universe was in one point non-origination, but it comes into an existence. Yes. Where you have the, the gaps. And Allah is telling that He is the source of the creation, meaning He brings the creation into existence. And the time is also. Everything. Have a good evening. Take care. Go on, go on. You, you conclude. You, you have that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing inshallah. So we had an um, elderly gentleman. He professed himself as an atheist and um, he spoke to Baba uh, Abdulaziz first um, and he believed in Darwinian evolution um, so we basically questioned him that even Darwin evolution doesn't resolve the question that where did life come from where did the universe come from so we were trying to make him question the beginning rather than the evolution okay and um, then both myself and Abdulaziz we try to educate him regarding our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, and we don't we don't treat him as an atheist because atheist in terms of rejection of false gods he actually rejected other false gods implicitly but when we convey to him yeah. tawheed the the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's that he is one and only that he's self-sufficient he does not have parents he's not born there is nothing like him it agreed with him but unfortunately you know his stubbornness got the better of him so that's why you know myself and brother Abdulaziz we just convey the message of Tawheed and we ask Allah to accept it from us and um, and to guide him yes I mean, uh, I mean and any mistakes that we made in between we ask Allah to forgive us yes, do you want to no, I, I think you covered it